Welcome back to another All Heart video. I am so happy to be posting a video after all of this time. Thank you guys so much for your patience. It has been absolute craziness since that very last video. I'm going to go ahead and post it down below just in case you didn't catch that one. It was our summer activities videos. Uh, that video had so much fun, different activities that you are able to do throughout the entire school year. So definitely check it out. Anyways, after that video, I was just supposed to take about a week or two off as we were finally trying to nail down where we were going to move when we got hit with COVID. You know, yeah. after taking such good care of ourselves for, you know, the past two and a half years, I don't know how we ended up getting it, but we did. And it was just a really, really tough time. And it took my son and I about two and a half months to really fully recover. Uh, but thankfully, everybody is doing uh, okay now. Right after that, we finally found our house. So we were in escrow and then I had to start packing all of our things. So now, as you can see, our background is a lot different than the last one. So you can finally see that we are now in our new space. And I'm so excited because this space is just so much bigger. There's just so much more light filtered through. So I'm just very excited to be able to create more videos for you guys in our space. Um, anyways, for today's video, what I wanted to do was basically show you guys some of the new school items that I have prepared for the school year. So I figured since I do a lot of like what I got my kids for Christmas, what I got for my kids Easter baskets, I can definitely show you guys what I got for my kids for the school year. And that way it'll help kind of give you a few more ideas as to the types of things that you can include in your homeschool, as well as gives you uh, a little bit of a peek into the types of activities that we have prepared uh, for the upcoming school year. So with that, let's go ahead and get started on today's video. So outside of the normal school supplies like colored pencils, um, markers, paints, stuff like that, that we normally get for our kids. I included a lot of different types of paper. So my son absolutely loves to draw. So I wanted to make sure to include uh, just good quality sketch paper. So this is one that I actually purchased from Target. They have that's usually where we like to do a lot of our uh, school supply shopping. That is, you know, that is normal, like, you know, paper, pencils, markers, stuff like that. But this this is actually a new brand. I It was the first time that I had seen them and I really am liking the quality of their paper. So I got him a sketch pad and I also got this mixed media set um, just because it's a lot more diverse and I can use it for uh, a few different projects and I could even use it for like uh, painting or you could use it to draw uh, or we could use it for acrylics or watercolors or stuff like that. So this is really neat. And the other type of paper that I always have to get is this one. So this paper is for our metal insets. It fits uh, perfectly in there, but my children love to use it just for drawing. So not only do we use it for a lot of, uh, not only do we use it for a lot of the Montessori activities, but my children just love to be able to use it to create little booklets or just to draw little pictures or just to kind of scribble out some math problems. So this one comes in really, really handy and I always make sure to stock up. And they come in a, a few different colors. I believe there's also a pink one, a green one and a light blue one. So always make sure to stock up on those. So now I want to show you a few of the math supplies that I got for my son and my daughter. So I found this 
learning resources. Let me bring it up to you. Learning resources, it's called Fruit Fractions. So this is going to be perfect, not only for my son, who's a little bit older, but for my daughter as well, just because it is so visually appealing and it's gonna be a lot easier for them to be able to recognize the different fractions. And the colors on these are just so bright. They're so vibrant and the pieces are so big. And you know that I love a good magnetic set. We have a few different sets um, that I love to post like for the different seasons. And we are always using our big magnetic blackboard back there. So this is going to be a very, very nice addition. Look at this absolutely love these so if you're looking for a nice fun way to teach fractions to your kids this is a very nice hands-on way to be able to show them uh, that the other thing that i got were these measuring cups from a brand called hand to mind and again i love being able to use items that they are able to physically hold I feel like that just really kind of opens up their mind. It helps them learn through play. So I have a lot of fun activities uh, planned out for these. So let me just go ahead and show you them. So they come in uh, the four different sizes. So we have like the one cup, we have the half cup, we also have the quarter cup and the third cup. So, and I also love that they're color coordinated. So that'll also be a little bit easier for my daughter to be able to uh, see the distinction between the different sizes. So some of the other math items I found on Amazon, and it's this company that specializes in everything that has to do with dry erase boards. So I absolutely love them because they come just like this and there's so many different math ones so this is just a 10 frame board this is going to be perfect for some of the activities that i have laid out for my daughter and we'll be able to use some of those uh the little cubes or i can uh, use some of the little grappets when she's doing counting so this is going to be a nice little addition to her math section the other one was this number line so i like it because i can add um I can do addition problems or subtraction problems, and it's simple enough where she's able to kind of count back and really see um, what the number is. And then on the back side, it's got numbers zero through 20. So once she gets uh, really good at working on this, then we can start adding a few more numbers. So my daughter's really been liking this one a lot too. The other one that I got for my daughter has to do with the So I know that not too long ago, I did a video for my daughter um, and it had to do with the decimal system. So this is going to be really, really nice for her to be able to write things out as she is really getting really, really good at writing her numbers out really, really nicely. So this is the other one. I also got one that is just like a little lap board so that my son could write out sentences or for my daughter to practice some of her letters. So this one is a really nice one too. And it actually looks a lot like our Montessori rug where, it, where we are able to lay out all of the uh, letters as well. And then I also got one for multiplication for my son. So a lot of times, we end up using a lot of uh, these for, you know, writing out our numbers or if he says, hey mom, you know, write me a couple of math problems, we utilize this. So it's nice that instead of wasting all that paper, I can just uh, grab one of these and he's able to utilize it for any, you know, spur of the moment math problems. So I got him this one and I also got him a division one as well. So I believe these were all of the boards that I ended up getting for my kiddos. The last thing that I got, well, not the last thing, but um, another thing that I got was this dry erase clock. So this will work out perfectly for some of the time lessons that I have for my daughter. We do have the uh, learning resources little clock and I'll, I'll show you that in an upcoming video. But this is really nice just because I'm actually able to write on it if I need to. 
and uh, she can point out the time and then I can go ahead and erase it. And of course, I can't get uh, dry erase boards without getting some of these erasers. So of course they include these. This was a pack of six, I believe, and they come in all of these fun little colors and they've got really, really cute little graphics on them. So um, I really, really like these and they're perfect for uh, my child's hand size. The last thing that I got from that company were these dry erase dice. So always trying to make education fun and learning fun. So I thought these would be a great addition because I'm able to write whatever I want, whether it's numbers or it's pictures or, you know, whatever commands uh, to kind of help with some of our lessons. So uh, I got the pack of four. Uh, I do believe that they sell them in larger quantities. Uh, that goes for everything that I've showed you today from, from that company. But I'll go ahead and make sure to leave the link down below in case you guys are interested in any of the items that I mentioned right now. So let's talk about books. Uh, we do have a pretty large library, um, but I always am kind of on the hunt for books that I can incorporate into our curriculum and I was able to find these. So this is by an author called, uh, her name is Julia Rothman. And I was able to find, these are the three books that I actually ended up choosing. Um, it's called Nature Anatomy, Ocean Anatomy, and Farm Anatomy. And these are so, so neat. I don't know if you guys um, have ever taken a look at some of these books, but they are so detailed, they're so colorful, there's just so much information about them and they're written in a way that is very easy for kids to be able to understand what they are learning. So, and they're very, very detailed. So I was very, very happy to be able to find these. I'm gonna have a lot of fun um, working through these with my kids, especially my son. Um, but I really, I can't wait to showcase these in some of our lessons. The other book that I picked up was called natural world and this one has got really really beautiful illustrations very very colorful again a lot of information and it's just written in a really really nice easily understandable way so this is going to be a really really nice addition to our learning room so let's talk about the items that i picked up for my children's kind of science area. So I found these STEM exercises and it's perfect because they are catered towards a specific age group. So this one would be perfect for my son. It's grades two through five. And then they also have one for like pre-K through first grade. So I was kind of, uh, my son and I and my daughter were going through some of the activities and we're just making sure that we have all of the surprise, uh, these supplies at the ready. That way, uh, at least once a week or so, we can pick one out and we can work on them. And I love that my son's is seasonal. So there's, uh, there's activities for all of the seasons and it's gonna be a lot of fun because since we are uh, basically, you know, in that fall season, there's a lot of like really cute, um, Halloween activities in there that are going to be a lot of fun. So the other item that I got for them in their science area is this little Real Bugs Discovery Set. So I actually have it outside of the box and I'll show you a close-up, but it's got all of the little bugs in like resin and it even includes a little microscope so that they are uh, able to see all of the details of all of the little bugs. And especially living out here in North Carolina now, I have been exposed to so many different types of bugs. Um, along with that, I was able to find this book at an antique store. They had a whole bunch of different books and uh, unfortunately I couldn't bring all of them with me because it was out in California when I was out there just last week. Um, but I did manage to find a couple that I can kind of uh, bring back home. So this is going to be really, really nice to kind of add to that little insect set. 
So the other thing that my son was really interested in was the solar system and everything that has to do with volcanoes. So I was able to find the tube version of the solar system. And then I also picked up these cards. Now these cards are so neat. You hold them under the uh, your camera and then it actually gives you like a 3D uh, picture of the planet that you guys are working on. And it also gives you information about that planet. So I thought these were really, really neat. And I will definitely show you a detailed uh, video on all of that when we are working on the solar system. I also picked up the three part cards for those. And then oh, I also picked up this puzzle and it's got the different layers of the earth right below. So I was able to find this set. I believe it's also Lakeshore. Um, I'll, I will confirm and I'll leave it down below. But this connects to this and then you're able to actually have a volcanic eruption with these. So it's nice because it's a diagram when you open it up, but when you close it up, it's a really nice, fun volcano that the kids can work and play with over and over again because it's very, very durable. So the next thing that I was able to get for my son was the flags of the world. So I love that again, this is a hands-on activity so that he's able to work on learning and identifying the different flags. And this is perfect for his little geography uh, area. And I also made a little book for him um, in case he forgot some of them. And then there's information about all of the different countries. And that also came along with this really nice size map so that he's able to place all of the different uh, maps in all of the different countries. So the next thing that I picked up is for my son and it goes in his uh, grammar and vocabulary and you know sentence structure and I found these little booklets and I believe they are it's called junior junior learning I thought they were leapfrog but they're junior learning and it's got the different parts of speech so it's going to help with uh, building uh, you know sentence structures and identifying the different parts of grammar so I thought this was going to be a nice little addition to that area as well. And it's a little flip book, so it's nice because it gives you a few different examples for creating those sentences. And last but not least, this one is a little bit bigger, but to go with our solar system area, I found these, it's called Our Solar System. And guys, I was so excited to show you guys these because they are so much fun. We have been using them basically every single day since we got them. And I was trying to find the best method to teach the solar system um, that was going to be a little bit more diverse, meaning I can use them in a lot of different situations. And these were the perfect thing. So let me show you some of them because they are really, really big. So they're very, very colorful. It's got the name of the planet down here. We've been able to utilize them in so many different ways and I can't wait to show you guys the different methods that I have come up with to teach my children the solar system. So this is something that you can do with um, even your youngest child, my daughter, she's four, my son is seven, but my daughter knows all of the planets and she knows you know a few little facts about each of them and then of course i went into more detail with my son but look at how big these are so this is jupiter right here so i was kind of in between going with these and then going with the uh magnetic ones that i've seen online and the reason why i decided to go with these is because not only are they more durable but i wanted something that my kids could actually stand on or sit on if I need them to. And these were just so much fun to lay out. And like I said, I was able to use them in more ways than just one. So stay tuned for that video. It is coming very, very soon. 
So that is it guys. Those are all of the materials that I picked up for my kids school year. If you guys have any questions on the items, uh, leave them down in the comments section below. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I am so happy to be back. And like I said, we will be posting videos every week from now on. We should have no more crazy interruptions, hopefully. Thank you guys for joining me today and I will leave you with that. We'll see you back here very, very soon. Bye.